Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I did these marble nails using gel polish. Um, this is the first time I've ever did marble using a gel polish, so I was pretty impressed with how these came out. Um, so this is the set that I had on before with the 3D flowers. Um, I first have to remove those crystals, which is a little tough to do. Um, because I haven't had... I only had these nails on for maybe like four days so I guess they just weren't ready to come off yet but I did get them off and then now we're going to just take our drill and drill off that top gel top coat it's just a clear top coat because I did have a nude acrylic on there um, I'll show you guys the drill I'm using I got this drill from Sally's it was a I think it was almost a hundred or a little over a hundred and I've been using it for I think over two years now um, and then the drill bit that I'm using is this safety bit. It's curved on the end of it so that you don't cut yourself or so that you don't cut your clients. Um, love this drill bit. I think it definitely has has saved me from a few um, cuts because sometimes I just lose control of my drill when I'm not paying attention and I'm doing my nails. So you want to use this drill bit to drill off the gel top coat. Um, this part shouldn't take as long because like I said this is not a gel polish I just have a clear top coat on these nails and the 3d flowers aren't that difficult to drill off either because it's just acrylic um, so yeah Now that you have taken off that gel top coat, I'm going to be using this. Oh, make sure you are brushing all that dust off before you go in and use the polish. I'm going to be taking this really old gel polish that I literally found at the bottom of a bucket of nail supplies. Um, I did get this from Sally's. I remember that. And it just really worked for the video. Any clear pink, light pink color that you have will work. You're going to put this on all five nails and then cure for two minutes or three minutes, however long you normally cure your first coat of gel polish. And then I'm going to be taking this random white polish that I found and that's how I'm going to be doing my marble. So you will have to use a acetone as well. I just used this one that I got from Target. I'm taking that brush and I'm going to just be drawing like really random uh, lines they don't have to be straight in fact you kind of want them to be um, very imperfect and you're gonna just draw like random lines maybe like two or three per nail and you're gonna take a little brush I'm using the same brush that I use for 3d flowers and you're gonna dip it into your acetone and just go over those lines that you created because you want to blur them out um, and since we're going to be doing this step uh, an, again you can blur these out as much as you want as you can see here I'm just really going over them and trying to make it look like not perfect not really too neat and then we're going to do this to all of the nails except for the ring finger because I'm going to do a 3d flower on that nail so again just take that brush and draw like random lines and then you're going to take your brush and then dip it into the acetone it doesn't have to be like dripping um, but you do want to get the brush wet enough so that it blurs out the white polish um, very important
once you finish blurring out your lines, you're going to make sure you cure this. You cure this for at least two minutes. Um, very important. I'm going to keep adding pop-ups to make sure you guys are curing in between each step. Um, once you cure the white lines, you're going to add another layer of this pink gel polish, and then you're going to cure that for two minutes. Um, very important. You have to cure these before you do your white lines. Um, so yeah, again, I'm going to just do that same step again. I'm going to just add the white lines again. I'm going to go over the lines that I created in the first step. And then again, I'm going to take my brush and just blur those lines out again. Um, this time, you don't have to blur them out as much because you want them to still kind of be noticeable a little bit. So, do the same exact thing. I just went over my lines that I had already and I'm just blurring it out. And then you're going to cure this for two minutes. Okay, so at this point I was like very very shocked very impressed because like I said I had never done this before so I was very pleased with how this looked I was like very 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 shocked um, so make sure you cure this and then we're going to take that little line brush and you're kind of just gonna make little random lines going or throughout the nail now this is what's really going to make it look like that marble look um, I think that when I did this step I was actually seeing like the rose quartz look finally come together so I'm also going to be adding a little bit of glitter you don't have to do this part um, I, this is like a clear hollow glitter and I'm going to be taking the brush and just adding it in like random spots and then make sure you also are being careful because I did not cure those lines so that it, so if you touch those lines um, they will either smudge or mess up because they're not dry just yet so yeah I'm going to take that little brush and I'm just adding random lines throughout the nail and then I'm going to go and add some glitter and then you're going to cure that for two minutes and then we're going to add another coat of that pink gel polish and then it'll be time to add a clear top coat Okay, so add your clear top coat to all of the nails, even the one, even the ring finger, um, because we're going to get ready to do our 3D flower on that nail. I'm taking this Valentino Super White Color from Valentino. Um, this was like a perfect color, color to do the 3D flower with because I feel like it was like super creamy and just very, very easy to work with. I did add a little crystal. Okay, so here's where my light, my ring light broke. Um, it just went out randomly randomly that has happened to me before and I got a replacement and that was like a year ago and it just happened to me now so sorry about that I kind of had to improvise here with my lighting so yeah I added my crystal and then I'm going to take a little small bead of white and place it like right kind of close to the crystal and I'm going to be taking like the, my brush on the flat side and just kind of going in the middle and just um kind of spreading the bead out so that it creates that 3d look and then I go around the edges of the flower and just to make it look like a like circu circular and then that's how I just get my 3d look I do that all three times for the three different petals and then yeah I think we're finished with this set so this is really fun. Like I said, I was really shocked because this is my first time doing this. Um, very easy, very simple. I hope you guys find this video very helpful. Um, leave me some comments below. I love reading comments. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.